<laughs> and we're back. <sighs> right, to be simple, <laughs> the max order at each vertex is uh, it has got to be three, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, in order for it to be simple. If it's more than three, then it's no longer a simple graph. We'd have multiple arms doing stuff. Um, for it to be Eulerian, or Eulerian, every, every vertex must be even. Um, so the max at each vertex is <coughs> two. In fact, they all have to be two, don't they? if it's going to be simple and Eulerian, because to be connected, they can't, none of them could be zero. <coughs> so that they have to all be equal to two. Um, and if four vertices are ordered two, then we would have four arcs. Because if you multiply the vertices, the number of vertices by their order, you get twice the number of arcs. So there'd be 4 times 2 divided by 2, which is 4 arcs. But we're supposed to be doing it with 5 arcs, therefore it's not possible with 5 arcs. And I, I, oh, arcs. So we've explained about the simple and about the Eulerian bit and about how it, therefore you can't do it um, if you've got five arcs. Now, part two, a simply connected Eulerian graph is drawn that has exactly eight vertices and ten arcs. Explain how you know that the sum of the orders must be 20. Okay, well actually we've already referred to this, haven't we? Um, part 2a, some of the orders must be 20, because every arc counts twice um, to the total, because every arc has two ends. It therefore, contributes 2. And so what we've got is we've got eight vertices and ten arcs. Ten arcs times by two gives us twenty <coughs> as our total. So let's go that bit done. The next bit, I thought this was tricky as well. Write down the minimum and maximum possible vertex order and draw a diagram that includes both the minimum and maximum cases. Right. We've been told this graph is connected. It's simple and it's Eulerian. It has exactly eight vertices and ten arcs. Okay? Well, the minimum, well, that's all right, isn't it? That's quite easy. The minimum vertex order is two. Because in order for them all to be connected and also Eulerian, they all have to be the smallest even number. Um, and it can't be zero because then it wouldn't be connected. Right, what about the maximum one? Sorry? Positive number. Thanks. What about the maximum number then that we would have? Well, it could either, it's either going to be four or six, isn't it? Is it possible to do it? Where you've got six? You could definitely do it with four. But it's actually possible with six as well. If we have um, eight lots of two, so if all of them had order two, that would only be 16. And remember, the total of the orders can go up to 20. If we do seven lots of two plus one that is six, then that gives us 20. So as we can draw that, it looks like that is possible. So the maximum vertex order 
is 6. And we've got from this little calculation here that we now need to try and draw a graph where one of the vertices has order 6 and the other 7 each have order 2. If we can do that, then we're sorted. And of course there are lots of different ways to draw this, um, but we need one of them to be order 6, so I'm going to make this one here have order 6, 2, 3, I'm going to draw it, I must have missed one out just now. Oh yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And we need every other vertex to be even. We've used, we've done uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 arcs. We've only got 10 arcs in total, haven't we, that we've got to play with. So we need to add 4 more that makes all the others even. Well, if we join that up there, then they both become even. If we join that up, they're both even. If we join, uh, now which ones did I do? I didn't do that one. Am I going to get this right now? Yes, if we join that one there and that one there, does that work? Yeah. That's got my extra four and it's made all of them even. That's, I've actually just drawn a different diagram to the one that I did when I did this. So we've just got a few different ways that you could do this. I know. Just by putting those in a different place. Okay. There we go. I thought that was quite tough figuring that out. And then it said, um, draw a diagram to show a simply connected Linearian graph with exactly eight vertices and ten arcs, in which the number of vertices of order four is as large as possible. Well, that means we need to have, and most we can manage is two of order four, isn't it? Remember, we need to add up to our total <coughs> of 20. So if it's two of order four, as we do part C, two of order four, that would leave us with the remaining six as being of order two, and that does give us 20, doesn't it? So that's the graph we're looking for. So I need to draw a graph with exactly two vertices of order four. Um, so I did, I put that one as order four, there's one of them. And as I've gone across there, I've made that one order four as well. Um, they're, they're order three at the moment, so I'm going to connect that one to there to make that one order four, and that one to there. Okay. Um, I need every other vertex to be of order two. They're both order two. If I do that, that does it, doesn't it? I think that makes them all order two. Again, there are lots of different ways that you can draw it. Um, I'm the right answer. Right. Good. Great.